looked like she's uh, starting 2018 in a good way. All sorts of problems over the last couple of years for Bianca, who won a medal back in 2014, which was probably her best year for a while. Uh, and since then, the struggle hit those heights. But she's got some very good competitors against her here. There's Bianca, and uh, was third at the UK Championships. But Daryl Nita has had to pull out, so Bianca gets the slot. Javian Oliver, well, she's a great story. A broken toe last year after a very good start to the season last year. Missed uh, an awful lot of time, but has come back with a bang. A big personal best, 7-0-2. Heads the world rankings, the American. A new name to get used to. Way of China's in four. Then we've got a more familiar name, Michelle Lee, Michelle Lee Ai of Trinidad and Tobago. Still only 25, seems though Michelle's been around quite a while. 7-1-6, her best this season. Semenuskaya from Belarus, 21-year-old. Kiara Neville of Ireland, only 18. Great experience for her. English junior champion at this distance. And then Okparebo of Norway, the Norwegian record holder. And has not been far off her best so far this indoor season. A very good start at Okparebo. So Bianca Williams, it's not difficult qualifying really, except she's got quite a tough heat here. The first three to go through and then the next fastest, uh, sorry, the six fastest losers to the semi-finals. But with Ai, with Okba Rebo and Javian Oliver getting in the top three here would be, it looks a tall order for uh, Bianca Williams. So she's just going to have to concentrate running a good, strong race, be as quick as she can and see if that's good enough to advance. Oliver is now sixth on the US all-time list at this event. So that gives you an indication of how good that 702 is. So. Oh, Oliver got completely left. Bianca Williams got a cracking start. Now Oliver getting there. So is Ai, and on this side, Okba Rebo. Okba Rebo wins it, Ai, and Oliver just gets ahead of Williams. What a terrible start. One thing you've got to say about Oliver, she has no experience at this level. And I just wonder whether nerves got the better of her there. Okberebo, very experienced. So is Michelle Liaye. Bianca Williams got out brilliantly. Or maybe it just looked even better, Colin, because of the terrible start by the American. But uh, Bianca fourth there. And we shall have to wait to see if that's quick enough. Yeah, I think all eyes were on Oliver when we were expecting. Really a strong performance by her. Announced herself here in Europe, but she slept in the blocks. Nothing really happened, and then she had to work so hard to pull herself back into the frame. Took her a long time to get onto the shoulder of Bianca Williams. But when she did there, she just eased herself through to get to that qualifying position. Look at that from that head-on position. Terrible, terrible spot. But the more experienced athletes to her right, centre of field, of course, I taking that really, really well. But boy, oh boy, oh boy, this is a rude awakening for the American US champion. We know she's got skills, 702 tells us that. And let's just think about it. Let's see that she's got that under her belt, Steve. She's now just realized, okay, I'm at the World Championships. Now that is done. I've got to refocus for that semi-final. There's Bianca Williams, nice head on for her. I wonder how she's feeling. All right, we'll talk to Bianca in a, in a second, but uh, the <laughs> next to her, 0.288, the Americans' reaction time. Bianca just run out, 7.31 her time. She's with JJ. Bianca, fourth there, two one hundredths away from third. You've got a smile on your face. How do you feel about your performance? I don't know. <laughs> no, it was all right. Um, I only found out I was coming here on Monday, so everything's just been a bit fast forward and... I'm prepared, so I've just thought to come out here, enjoy it, which I have, and just embrace the atmosphere, you know? I've never done one of these before, so, yeah. <laughs> As you say, you stepped in because Daryl Nita pulled out at the last minute. What has that been like, trying to focus yourself for such a big occasion? Um, again, just really fast forward. Like, I, I left some of my kit at home. Like, I'd, I just didn't know what was happening. Luckily, I brought the race kit. <laughs> but, um, yeah, everything's just been so crazy, but I think that's a good thing, so. Yeah. <laughs> it's not automatic qualifying. You're going to have to wait to see what happens. But are you feeling confident with that time? I don't know. <laughs> There's some quick girls coming next. So um, fingers crossed. But it is what it is at the end of the day. I'm here. I'm having fun. I've enjoyed it. Um, I would love to run again tonight. But if I don't, it's not the end of the world. I've got come off games um, in a few months. Um, so yeah, 
I'm just having fun. <laughs> As you say, hopefully we're back here for the semi semi final later. Yeah. Uh, what's the process between now and then? I want to go home and sleep. Oh, if that's what you meant. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, go home and sleep, have some lunch, and then just recharge for later on. Brilliant. Well, we hope to see you back later. Me too. Thank you. Bye bye. Yeah, 7.31, not the quickest after we've been talking about quick times, that heat not that fast. Um, anyway, Bianca will have to wait and see the winning time, 7.22. And uh, one thing I will tell you, Gabby, that I think Javian Oliver is definitely not, not going to be my pick for the star of the future yet. <laughs> You can't just go through events eliminating people, Steve, until I've, we get to the end of the day. You actually have to be positive about this. I have picked one. I'll let you know in a minute. OK, all right. Well, we're going to actually just clear up a little bit from those 60-metre uh, hurdles heats in the heptathlon uh, and, sorry, uh, pentathlon. <laughs> uh, and, uh, oh, it's an occupational hazard, isn't it? Uh, let's get out to Tony Minicello, who's been crunching the numbers for us. And what do they tell us? Well, that great start for Kat. 8.36 equals season's best. She was struggling with her left hip at the national championship, so withdrew from the championships we may see that a little bit if if we if you watch it again it, the, the foot turns out a little bit so that may be affected the speed and also I think the Americans are suffering because they only came in on Wednesday so to them it's six o'clock in the morning so sprinting fast at six o'clock in the morning is difficult for them to do so she's she's on par it's a superb start for her. it's the season's best she's on for 4,800 the American has lost 20 points or more or more on her sprint hurdles so yeah a great start. Thank you very much, Tony. It won't be long before we see them back out here uh, again, those pentathletes. But let's go out for the second of the 60 metre heats. And this one features Elaine Thompson, of course, the double Olympic champion and the double silver medalist from London as well, uh, Marie Jose Talou. And this one is all Andrew Cotters. And there so is Elaine Thompson. Time for heat two of six. And there is the lineup for this uh, second heat, second of six heats. Amy Foster, Thompson, Jimenez, Kielbasinska, Talu, Santos, Jacobs, and Al Alawi. So with six heats and Bianca Williams running 7.31 as the fastest loser in the uh, first heat, it's going to be close. There is Amy Foster, a lot to prove at the moment, a lot to points to prove from Newtonards just east of Belfast. Beat the Irish record at the Irish Indoors a couple of weeks ago, not selected by Northern Ireland for the Commonwealth Games, though even though she'd met all the qualifying standards and criteria there. Elaine Thompson, well received, not quite showing her best in Glasgow last weekend. Isidora Jimenez of Chile, a Chilean record holder over 100 and 200. Gilbasinska of Poland has just won the Polish indoor title over 200 metres. Marie Jose Talu, well, seven wins from eight races indoors this year, just uh, not quite at her best at Berlin right at the start of the year, but apart from that, pretty near perfect. Rosendela Santos ran poorly in Glasgow last weekend, but a decent win in Liévin in northern France before that. Jolene Jacobs of Namibia goes in lane seven. And then on the outside, the 20-year-old uh, from Oman, who is there, I promise, Mazun Al-Alawi. And there she is. So Amy Foster, interesting in lane one, she really is running with uh, points to prove. She said she was devastated not to be selected by Northern Ireland for the Commonwealth Games. Heartbroken, unbelievably let down, and then ran so well at the Irish Indoors to beat the Irish Indoor record. She's alongside Elaine Thompson, though. The Olympic champion over 100 and 200 in Rio. But Marie Jose Talu is flying this season already, and she goes in lane five. Three to go through automatically to tonight's semi finals, and six fastest losers over the six heats. Well, it's a good start this time by Elaine Thompson, who's running strongly now. Marie Josie Talu coming through, and it's Thompson and Talu just about together with also uh, Kielbasinska in the middle. Those are the three who go through 7 1 8. And Marie Josie Talu, once she got into her running, I think she's probably quite keen to keep her near perfect record. Winning is a good habit to have, and Marie Josie Talu running well. But uh, good to see Elaine Thompson running a little bit better than she did last weekend. Such a talent, but indoors sometimes she's. Uh, not necessarily at her best, but Marie Josie Talu, very, very impressive. Yes, Andrew, I think when it comes to major championships now, you've got to really bin all the previous performances. Lots of different nerves come into play, stresses, strains, pressure of the event. 
And of course, we've seen Elaine Thompson do it at the biggest stage, two Olympic titles. But Talu, she's done well all season, and I think she'll want to keep doing that. I mean, the three who go through automatically, Rosangela Santos in fourth. The time to look out for, which we can confirm now, is 100th slower than Bianca Williams, so good for Williams going forward. But uh, Mari Josi Talu, the determination to get in for that uh, drive, the start and, and the pickup is very, very impressive from Talu. Yes, nice, small, compact runner, well suited for indoors. Gets out the blocks well, works hard, always keeps nice and focused, which I like to see. Work hard into the line. You know she'll wake up during the rounds and be a little bit quicker come the semi-final. And of course, she's one of the big favourites of that final. So Talu with the victory, Thompson going through automatically. A personal best from Kilbasinska. Good run by the Polish athlete to go through as uh, one of those three automatic qualifiers. And Santos has mentioned just 100 slower than Bianca Williams. So uh, Williams still in pole position as one of the fastest losers. Well, coming up in a moment in Heat 3, we will see Daphne Schippers, twice a world champion at 200 metres, and she has medalled across three world championships in total. You think perhaps as a 200-metre specialist that the 60 metres might not be the, the strongest event for her, but she's been out competing indoors this winter, and she'll have high hopes here. She spoke to JJ Chalmers. I love to compete in the UK.